to another video. I'm Lorena. If it's your first time watching, I'm really excited for today's video because I am redecorating for the first time after taking down all of my holiday decor, which was actually pretty nice and not to have any decor up for a while and just have this clean slate to start with. I was able to do a deep clean around the house and start to get some ideas on how to decorate. I've been looking through lots of my home decor books and browsing home designer websites just to gather up all of the ideas on how to decorate for the new year. So I hope that you enjoy. I'm starting with a pretty blank slate and I'll also be bringing back a side table and bar cart that I had moved out of this space with holiday decor. So it does look a little empty now, but like I said, it's nice to start fresh to gather up all of those ideas on how to decorate. I did set out some of my decor that I'll be using and I'm sticking with neutral and organic tones, textures, and materials to make it feel earthy and simple but add some life back to the space. I'm starting with the couch and adding these pillows which I got two new pillow covers and a new lumbar pillow. Today I'm decorating our main living room and dining table and kitchen. I like starting here on the couch because it adds lots of texture to the space and some color to the cream couch. I usually do a combination of sizes and patterns but still stick to a similar color palette in neutral tones. I really liked those striped patterns and pillows and I think it's something that we'll still see a lot of in 2023. For the side table, I'm doing creams and brown tones, starting with a book and a bowl on top. I think any pretty decorative bowl is such an easy and classic thing to add to your decor. And for the bottom shelf, I'm using this faux leather basket that I got from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. I really loved that small detail that it has on the front and then just putting some magazines inside. For this side table and chair, I'm using more of those brown tones to tie in the color from that faux leather basket and just keeping it earthy and simple. Moving on to the coffee table, I'm again using decor books, which these two are some of my favorites. And then I'm adding in some texture with a stone vase and dried eucalyptus. And just finishing off the look with some candle accessories and a new candle that I got from Target which smells really good.
And if you have an open floor plan like I do, carrying over those same types of tones and textures into all of the spaces really helps to keep your home look and feel cohesive and intentional. For this cabinet and shelves, I'm adding some more of those cream colors, woods, brass touches, and more textures with vases. I would like to eventually switch out this cabinet for a different, maybe darker wood one, but for now we actually want to update a few other things first. I first want to switch out the curtains in this room, which we've had for a while since we first moved into our home, and I'm just kind of over that gray color and just want to change. And then we also want to update the chandelier for a different light fixture. It's just not really my style anymore, but we're going to do these changes slowly and hopefully get to all of these updates sometime this year. I really do love this cabinet though. It's an affordable option if you want to add something like this. It's two IKEA pieces and I believe they have one in a brown color as well. And it's just really great to be able to add different decor pieces here and have it be part of the dining space. For the dining table, I'm adding this tall vase with some greenery stems. We've seen this a lot with high-end designs, just making a statement with a large base and tall stems. And I think this year it's still something we'll continue to see. And I really love doing this on my dining table because it's such an easy way to decorate, but the height really makes such a statement, yet there's a simplicity to it that just looks so classic. This space is actually from Target and I think it looks more expensive than it was. And then I got the stems from Hobby Lobby and I found them in the dried floral section. I like looking there because sometimes this, the dried floral stems seem to look more high-end and realistic than just the faux stems. And they're still such a great price. So definitely check out the dried florals if you're looking for some stems to use. And along with the vase, I'm adding this woven tray and some faux artichokes, which I've had for a couple years and I love using them in my decor. They're from Amazon and they just add a really pretty color. We do have this bar car I style as a coffee station. We do have to move it during Christmas to make room for the Christmas tree. So I brought it back out and just set out the coffee machine, some neutral mugs, and a few other neutral decor pieces. Moving on to the kitchen, I love starting with a blank slate and just removing everything and wiping down the countertops so I can add in some simple and functional decor pieces. In 
this little corner I'm setting out a cookbook on this gorgeous wood holder with some glass jars filled with rice quinoa and lentils so very functional decor I make lentil soup like once a week so I refill it often and I love how these together look so organic and perfect for functional kitchen decor materials is such a great way to add depth and interest to your space and it's easy to do in a kitchen i love this look of the wood cutting boards mixed in with the marble utensil holder and a stone cutting board and then i also have some brass serving spoons mixed in with the wood ones i think when you add any type of organic materials they're gonna look great in your kitchen spaces and for this little corner i'm really excited to add a small lamp for a cozy touch. The rest of the pieces in this space are functional ones and then just adding a faux rosemary plant for a decor element. I did get some new oil dispensers from Pottery Barn recently and then I just paired them with wood salt and pepper shakers again for those mix of materials. On the kitchen island, I'll be adding some fresh flowers to a pretty vase. I already had some flowers set out about a week and a half ago so the hydrangeas had died and I'm tossing those and just keeping the ones that are still fresh to add the new ones that I picked up. I love adding fresh flowers to our home. I think they just add individuality to decor and some color and life to any space. really love these colors together some of those soft tones with a pop of a really pretty orange that I'll be adding I think looks so pretty during the holidays I usually don't set out fresh flowers because there's just already a lot going on with the decor so it's nice to add them back into our home in the beginning of the year since it's just such an easy way to decorate especially in the kitchen and for the next few weeks, I'll be adding some more pretty pink tones to add a touch of Valentine's decor to the kitchen.
using this wood tray with these beautiful leather handles that add such a pretty detail as the base for the flowers and a small bowl on the side. And just adding this wreath to the pantry door to finish up the decor in the kitchen and that is everything for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed and got some ideas to decorate your own homes i do have a few more spaces that i'm adding decor to and can't wait to share so make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell so you get notified when i post next Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon on my next one.